on our social corner, we have news of Fulani headsmen attacking Oyo State farmers in Bomosho. Farmers in the Rere local government area of Oyo State staged a peaceful protest on Thursday, pleading with the state government and the Sohun of Bomosho land to aid them in stopping attacks on their farm by alleged headsmen. The farmer who staged the protest at the palace of the Sohun of Bomosho appealed to the traditional ruler Obagandi Oloye and other stakeholders to save them from the attack. The protesters spoke to Aremo Ogundare, who was the head of Kedo Arigbeyo, and he explained that the protesters came from three different villages in the local government area, namely Kedo Arigbeyo, Kedo Salami, and Musumaje. They lamented that they had to come to the palace to solicit for the assistance of the government and monarch because of the persistence in these destructive activities. Their spokesman also highlighted the devastating impact of the headsmen cattle on crop such as cassava and cashew, as well as the after effect of farmers struggling to feed their family, educate their children, and maintain their livelihood due to the ongoing attacks. During the protest, Chief Ogundare shared their frustration over the lack of solution from the authorities, forcing them to seek assistance from the traditional ruler. It conveyed the sense of of urgency and desperation felt by the farmer, hoping that the royal father could intervene and help put an end to the ongoing attacks. On our other news, suspected kidnappers and gun runners get killed by police and weapons were recovered. Some kidnappers and gun runners guilty of terrorizing different states have been subdued by officers of the Nigerian police force on Thursday. Olomuiwa Dejobi, the first police relations officer, ACP, revealed this in the statement on Friday. The statement said the FID IROT of the Nigerian police force has recorded yet again another victory in the present fight against crime and assault in the country. Yesterday, February 8, 2024, some well-known kidnappers and gun runners who have been disturbing and terrorizing Abuja, Kogi, Kaduna and Nasarawa state were neutralized and subdued by IROT agents at Gitata, their hideout, along Kafi Gidan Wire Road, Nasarawa state. Also, some AK-47 rifles, weapon and ammunition were recovered. The subdued people also have been in the game of supplying arms to robbers engaging within the same houses. In the statement, it was written that NPF would deploy necessary measures to exit communities of criminal elements and return peace and regulation in the nations. Punch News reported in January that agents of Special Intervention Squad, Federal Capital Territory Police Command, subdued three well-known robbers in the forest within the Bowery area of Abuja. Some months later, a kidnapper identified as Janari, who people said was the master craft of many kidnapping around Kaduna State and Abuja, alongside his soldiers, were killed during operations conducted by the air components of Operation Rail Punch Kaduna.